Welcome Scorpions, this is the month of September. I want to say thank you for being here, thank you for being back. Scorpions, Scorpions, um, this month has, um, is going to be a good month where we are going to be balancing out some sort of an issue, situation with people around you. Come to um, institute certain organization because it has the energy of the, of the month um, with the um, institution. Okay, so we have five energies. So we have five weeks. First week is water. Second week is the Wheel of Fortune. Um, third week and center of your month is balance. Um, fourth week is the energy of the Wheel of Fortune. Um, then I see um, the second week um, is the energy of the air event. Now... Whatever the issues and the situation is and how we are working on this and trans transpiring this, I see um, a whole lot of truths is coming out. And whatever the issue and the situation is, a lot of you are working on the energy of passion. Um, so I see um, some of you were dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion or an Aries, Leo, Sagittarian um, young lady, I see um, this person creates some sort of uh, um, obstacles in your world, okay? And some of you are carrying some sort of a burden that this person has created in your world. And this is going to be um, true and real. And it's, uh, you know, some of you have some sort of a responsibility um, that is uh, transpiring and is happening. So be aware. The center is that some of you are looking out for a better future. Some of you are um, thinking about studying um, and looking out for a better future. Some of you who are in a relationship with a fire sign person, um, I see that some of you uh, men are going to be receiving, especially young men, you're going to be receiving what you want. Okay. It's as if some of you young men have manipulated a situation and I see that a cycle is going to be over for a fire sign person and their partner. So if you're in a relationship with a fire sign person and their partner, I see some sort of a um, cycle is going to be over with this person. So be aware of this. So a lot of you are um, focusing on either getting some sort of a education, educating yourself, um, thinking about the future. Some of you are looking back at the past and thinking, um, I'm going to try and uh, look at, um, educate myself or do some sort of a study. Um, some of you are dealing with a young fire sign person and realizing, um, what has transpired. You're ending some sort of a cycle, um, with this person, whoever this person is. You're no longer worried about this person. And I see, some sort of a truth is going to be coming out. And I see a cycle is going to be over um, for a, um, a lot of you. Um, so be aware of this. So as we look at the cross, I see balance is going to be coming in. Whoever was dealing with a fire sign person, I see balance. It could be your child. Balance is going to be coming in. And you're going to be you scorpions are going to be receiving a new start moving forward this person is still looking at the past and not realizing what has transpired with them it's as if they're stuck looking at the past it could be your child that there is some sort of an issue and situation and they're still there looking in the past or it could be a young person that you were dealing with this person is between the age of 18 and 45 and you have left this person behind and is moving forward. There was some sort of a, um, information that came out uh, that this fire sign person could have used someone else's information in order to acquire some sort of a, um, materialistic uh, stability. And I see you're going to be uh, walking away from this person, whoever this person is. So be aware of that because it's definitely, definitely coming up. So um, then we see some of you are protecting yourself. You're no longer worried, but you're protecting yourself from this young fire sign person. And I see that um, it could be your mom that is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn is going to be making sure that this person be removed out of your life once and for all. 
So whoever this woman is, this woman is coming up as a Capricorn. And there was some sort of a, um, issues and situation. I see um, that a um, Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra woman has tried to cause this lady, a Capricorn lady, some sort of a problem. And I see this Capricorn lady stood up against everyone and had no distress of signal um, and took down everyone. So I see that some of you are going to be having this kind of um, um, passion that is going to be coming up. So um, if your mom is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, I see this person is really going to be standing up for you against people in power and this air sign person that has created some sort of an issue and um, 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 some sort of an issue in your world and in your life, okay? So uh, let's look at this week. So the energy of the eye princess comes up in the first week and I see some of you are listening to your own intuition is protecting yourself from some sort of a conflict. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo and a Aquarian and you're listening to your intuition about these people and really figuring out what is going on with these people. Your intuition is going to be good. I see the Aries Princess is also going to be removing the fear and protecting you from these people. And uh, it's as if you're, this Aries Princess is going to be bringing some new start for you, Scorpion, and release you from the worries of what was transpiring. There was a whole lot of conflicts, and I see you, Scorpion, is going to be taking down a Leo and some sort of a destructiveness that this Leo has done. In the second week, the Wheel of Fortune, this is going to be good. Um, some sort of an issue and situation, you're standing your ground. And this is um, issues that was up happening in August. You're standing your ground. You are dealing with a um, a um, fire sign. You, you, you're finding your passion, dealing with a fire sign. Some of you were in a relationship with a Aries Lee or Sagittarius. Um, I see that this you could be offering this person love or you're in this relationship with this person, but it could be a sister and a brother situation. So some of you could be having some sort of an issue um, with your sister um, that is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. But I see um, whatever is transpiring, I see it is an, um, a karmatic situation. It is definitely a karmatic situation that is happening, okay? Um, then we are looking at the worries is going to be over. Whoever was worried about their partner, worried about their relationship, worried about um, their siblings, um, this is going to be over. Worried about your kids, this is going to be over. As we look at the third week, the third week shows up some worries um, is going to be over because I see some of you, Scorpion, is taking down a Cancer and a Leo. So I don't know what was the issue, what was the situation, but um, the worries is going to be over because I see the third week you stand your ground and you're bringing a balance to an issue and a situation and you're not worried anymore because you are really just taking down, standing your ground and taking back your powers and this is going to be good. I see a balance is going to be coming in and you... Um, you um, Scorpion is going to be having a new start. I see some sort of a new documentation is going to be coming in for you, um, Scorpion. Whatever that was happening and transpired, um, you could be um, passing some sort of an exam and some new documentation. You could be starting college, university, because this is coming up to the energy. Um, and you could be receiving a new start because of some dramatic thing that has happened to some of you. You could be creating a new sort of a business and getting a business license, and this is going to be good. I see balance between um, a, a um, Taurus, Virgo, and a Capricorn woman and a Aries, they are a Sagittarius man. I see this woman stand her powers and take back her power. I see this man as try to ruin this person's life along with an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra person. Then they have used their powers against this person. This person is coming up. She is standing strong and she's taking back her life and bringing a new stability. And she is going to be definitely having a new start. She has turned her back to the people um, that was using their powers and she stood her ground 
and protect you um scorpion whether it's a mother whether it's a family member whether it's your grandmother this woman is financial stable and she is also like a, a a strong energy a strong power to be dealt with um as we look at the fourth week a cycle is going to be over for a um a fire sign person and their partner whoever this fire sign person is is it your child um it could come up as your child it could come up as your sister a cycle is going to be over for this person and their partner um and it is um it is it is a karmatic issue uh, i see you're no longer worried because you have done your best um and i see some of you are dealing with a capricorn woman and um this could be your mom this is coming up as your mom for a whole lot of you whoever this a woman is this woman um has stood her ground and is protecting um you children um, it is definitely a Capricorn woman. You see the, the energy of the world. Definitely a Capricorn woman who stood her grounds and tried to protect you, um, her child. Whether you're a man, woman, or a child, she stood her ground and she tried to protect. Um, then we see um, the energy of uh, a cycle is over for an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra woman. Whoever this woman is, I see a cycle is over for her, whatever. She's going to have a lot of burdens to deal with because of some sort of a false a false eye that she has created. And people are seeing the truth. And whoever this woman is, it could be a lawyer that has created um, changing someone documentation information. And I see um, that um, her days are numbered. And as we look at the fourth week, um, a cycle is over with people who were using their powers. Um, I see this is some sort of authority and um, people are going to be given and helping out and, um, this lady, the Star Wars World War Capricorn lady, to give her a new start and her child a new start because what has happened to them. Um, then I see um, whoever has used their powers in um, the wrong form. You can see these two people is an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra woman together with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And I see um, that people in authority have seen what they have done and how they have created some sort of a horrible, horrible mess against a woman and her son. And I see this woman is standing strong because this woman did not back down um, against what was transpiring. So um, this sort of energy is going to be coming out. And um, this lady is a, is, a, is a power to reckon with. Um, and you have to understand, you guys are, um, you work with Pluto. Um, Pluto and Saturn, because this woman is Saturn. This woman is about bringing back discipline and cooperation institution. Okay, so check out. Uh, Capricorns or managers, leaders, okay, they rule um, um, and create the rules and cooperation institution. So whoever this person is has seen some unfair games and stood up in order to um, clear up these unfair games. So, um, so we see the virus is, um, yeah, the virus is over. Balance is going to be coming in with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person. This could be your mom. A new start is going to be coming back for you two. You two are going to be receiving a new start. Um, I see the Wheel of Fortune is going to be ending a cycle, especially for you young men, and a situation where someone has used or pretend to be you. Okay, so someone could have used your information and pretend to be you. And I see that they're going to be finding out and resolving this issue and the situation. So you young men, whatever that was happening and transpiring, however this Aries Leo or Sagittarius person tried to use or have used your information or your parents' information in order to acquire a lot of wealth. And I see truths are going to be coming out because this woman is standing her ground. And I see a new start is going to be coming up um, with your parents. And... Um, this is going to be bringing in some sort of a satisfaction for you because you're overcoming um, the situation that was transpiring and truth is coming out. 
Um, then we see that some of you are protecting yourself. The Wheel of Fortune is bringing back uh, a fire sign person in your life, whoever this person is. It could be a sister, a partner, a brother. But I see you're, you you do not want to have this uh, this conflict with this person and you're making it straight. Hey, um, if you come back in my life, I, I'm making it straight. I don't want this sort of a situation. And I see truths are going to be coming out. However, this is happening information secrets that was kept is going to be coming out about this person and i see some of you are going to try to bring sort some sort of a balance and you're going to be having a new start because this person could have tried to throw some of you um a scorpions under the bus and i see someone came to your refuge a cycle is definitely going to be over for and um aries the or sagittarius young woman whoever this person is a cycle is going to be over for this lady um, a cycle is going to be over for an Aries, Leo, um, yeah, an Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra person. The cycle is going to be over. I see you young men are going to be taking back your life. You're going to be receiving a new start. I see balance is going to be coming in between you young men and um, people in authority because they're going to be seeing that an fire sign man and um, Aries Leo or Sagittarius fire sign man has created some sort of a false eye in order to create some sort of an issue. And I see this tar this Capricorn woman is going to be coming in and standing her ground using the energy of Saturn in order to resolve a situation. And I see that you, Scorpion, are going to be using your Pluto energy in order to um to work together with this person in order to um, bring down a fire sign man and an Aquarian Gemini and liberal woman who has created some sort of an issue um, for you, Scorpion. So I see it's as if you're taking down and standing up in order to get some sort. You young men are going to be receiving some new start with, um, with, 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 with a family member, family members. You're going to be returning to family members and this is going to be good. As we look at the mirror of this reading, we're seeing um, some um, secrecy is going to be coming out um, about people in power. Um, so that could be happening. Some sort of a secrecy is going to be coming out about people in power or people in authority who have used their powers in the wrong way. Uh, the seven of ones is here and I see a whole lot of you are protecting yourself from a Gemini woman, whoever this Gemini woman is and whatever is transpiring, you're protecting yourself. It can be an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra, but you're protecting yourself from this person. Whoever this person is, is really dangerous, um, could be mentally off also. Then we see the energy of the Five of Swords that I see you won the battle against an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius man, whoever this man is, is a false business person that has created some sort of an issue around you. It could be your ex-husband. It could be um, a family member who has created some and got you in some sort of a, um, a false eye. To, um, it is coming up as a deceptive businessman, okay? Then um, we are seeing um, the next mirror is the mirror of the wheel of fortune um, is bringing a cycle to an end. Whatever this karmatic cycle is, it is going to be coming to an end. Some of you were dealing with a huge karmatic cycle. It's coming to an end. If you notice in the middle, balance is here. This month is bringing balance for you, um, scorpions. So, and then I see the worries is going to be over about your mom. Some of you were worried about your mom, your supervisor, or worried about uh, um, some situation that your mom was caught up in. And you're going to be um, uh, releasing yourself from this worries because you realize that your mom stood ground against some sort of a false height um, that maybe a sister or a family member had created or people in power had created. And your mom showed up these people and these false height that was created. I see that definitely you young people are going to be reconnecting with your family. Um, it, it can be family or family member. It can be you're going to be connected with your father or mom. Um, it can be that you're going to be reconnecting with your cousins, sisters and brother because whatever the issue is and whoever that was uh, 
um, using their powers um, against you or over you, it is going to be now resolved. I see you Pisces or walk, you Scorpions is walking away because you have done your battle. And the battle has to do with an, um, an Leo and a Cancer, a Leo and a Cancer that has created some sort of an issue. Some of you are going to be finding out something about an Aquarian, the collaboration of an Aquarian, a, a Leo and a Cancer. And whatever they have done, your worries is going to be over because I see truths is going to be coming out about these people. You Scorpions are going to be receiving a new start, especially um, a lot of you Scorpions is going to be receiving some new start because you notice a cycle is going to be over with some sort of an issue that was going on. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is going to be bringing you back some sort of a documentation that you should have had in the first place and you never had because someone has stolen this documentation and it is going to bring it back to you. Then we see balance is going to be coming in between some of you and your mom and father. It can be your father, but I see some of you are going to be choosing your mom because your mom stood her grounds and protect you from a really false, um, this, this person is not really, um, kosher. Okay. It's not really a kosher person, meaning that this person is, um, not honest, not coming from an honest place, so not really kosher. And I see a cycle is going to be over for an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person, whoever this person is, is going to be having to deal with a whole lot of issue, a whole lot of burdensome issue because of what this person has created and has done. Uh, some of you are coming out standing very strong with the power of uh, the help that you have uh, um, received from a Taurus Virgo or Capcom person. So I see a whole lot of you are getting this new start because this, this Taurus Virgo or Capcom person has stand to protect you guys and to help you guys and show up some secrecy that was going on in a corporation institution that a whole lot of you were not aware of. So it's going to be um, a month of balancing and it's coming up for everyone because this corporation institution, a month of balancing that is going to be coming up and truths are going to be coming out and people are going to be understanding what has been happening and what has been um, transpiring in your world. And um, I see you're going to be bringing some sort of balance uh, and, and this balance is going to be good. However, you are looking at this this balance is going to be absolutely fabulous because you're moving out of a period of obstacles that was there i do love you guys i'm saying namaste until next time please remember to like and share these videos um please remember that this will not um affect all of you but there is going to be some of you and some of you who is connected to um, my channel this will affect these are people situation that you have to deal with the full moon reading is going to be coming out soon um please like and share 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 these videos subscribe to the channel become a member because you can receive all the extended i am saying namaste i love you guys um go pick up the extended of this reading because it's going to be coming out right now.